Hey, Landon, congratulations and welcome to Philadelphia. We'll get started here with Bo Wolf and then Les Bowen. Hey, Landon, congratulations. Hey. How you doing? Hey. Uh, two questions. First of all, how is, uh, how is the knee? What is the timetable for your recovery? And then what is your best Devontae Smith story? Uh, timetable for me, you know, I, I'm just taking it day by day right now. I'm looking to get back as soon as I can and work on competing and doing that, whatever I can to make this team better. And then uh, favorite Devontae Smith story, uh, I, I may save those for another day. They, we got plenty of them, but uh, Devontae's a great dude. I love him to death, and I'm really excited to work, you know, getting to work with him and play with him. So, Thank you. Go ahead, Les, and then Ed Pratt's. Hey, Amanda, congratulations. Thank uh, I, I don't want to belabor this, but I want to make sure I have the right information. So you had two ACLs, and you've had that tightrope thing on your ankles, right? Uh, yes. Is that the case? Okay. And is there a back thing, too, or is, the, is that not correct? That, that's incorrect. Okay, just the ankles and the knees. Okay, so yeah. how do you, you know... Obviously, it's a question, you know, how durable you're going to be. What's your what's your answer to that? My answer is I'm going to give everything I got for the city of Philly and my team, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to work every day. That's my goal. What have doctors told you? You know, they said you're you're fine now. You know, this is all over. Or what what have what have they said? I mean, I'm sure you wonder about it, having had that happen to you. I don't wonder about it because I don't let other people dictate whatever I can do. So, like I said before, my goal is to work every single day, try to become the best player I can and make this team the best possible, no matter what role I serve. All right. Thank you. Go ahead, Ed, and then Chris Franklin. Hey, Landon, congratulations. Um, I just wondered uh, how how your conversations went with the Eagles in the pre-draft process. How often did you talk to them? And do you have the ability to play guard? as well have you played that uh, you know at florida state or alabama yeah so i i talked to the eagles a couple times before the draft um you know i i have on tape I've, I've started all five positions on the offensive line and like i said before you know my my role is to you know whatever coach thinks that whatever position i need to be in to make the team better that's the position i'm going to serve no matter where it is on the offensive line where it is on the depth chart or anything Go ahead, Chris, and then Dave Zangaro. Hey, Landon, welcome to Philadelphia. Uh, did you have a chance to meet with uh, offensive line coach Jeff Stoutland? What was that interaction like? And once again, it gets to the labor point. Do you have any idea if you're going to play that guard or center? So, talk with Coach Stoutland and the pre draft process. You know, we, we had good meetings throughout that. I, I love Coach Stoutland. You know, he's got an Alabama background, great dude. I, I look forward to, be, to getting coached by him. And, um, you know, kind of the same thing I said earlier, it's, you know, my role is to do whatever I can to make this team better, no matter what it is, no matter what position, wh wherever coach thinks I can serve the best and make this team better. That's my goal. Go ahead, Dave, and then Martin. Hey, Landon, congratulations. Obviously, you're versatile and you've played a bunch of positions. What do you like about each of those positions you've played and what about your skill set lends itself to those positions? Uh, what I liked about those positions is I was in those positions because that's where I could help the team the most at that point in time. So, you know, I, I'm in this to make the Eagles the best team possible. Again, no matter what I can do, that's my ultimate goal. Go ahead, Martin, and then Rob Kessner. Hi, Landon. Uh, congratulations. Um, my question is, I mean, obviously you're coming to an Eagles situation where they have, you know, Jason Kelsey at center, Brandon Brooks at, at right guard. I mean, as a guy coming in, I mean, what's it like to be able to learn from those guys who obviously have made several Pro Bowls, you know, been around the league and everything and kind of know what they're doing? I mean, you know, be able to learn from those guys. It, it's a tremendous opportunity. I mean, both of them are extremely talented players, extremely experienced and I, I'm really looking forward to be able to talk with them and, you know, one, learn what the NFL is going to be like for me and also, you know, learn more about offensive line play. I mean, two amazing players, and I can't tell you how appreciative I am to be able to learn from these guys. Thanks. Go ahead, Rob, and then Jeff McLean. Hey, Landon, congratulations. I want to ask you about the uh, 
the the outdoor makeshift gym that you put together uh, during the pandemic. Uh, how to come about? Uh, can we see it from where you're sitting right now? And uh, what, what did the players think of the concept of what you did? So the gym was actually temporary. I'm standing in the carport right now where it was, but it was it was temporary for the pandemic. Um, you know, the reason it came up was, you know, obviously everybody got sent home. We went into quarantine, you know, businesses shut down, the facility was shut down. And, you know, springtime is time for guys to develop, get better. And I wanted to create an opportunity for anybody on the team that was staying here in Tuscaloosa or if they were, you know, coming back for some reason, to have a place to work out to be able to get better and make the team better. That was the biggest thing is, you know, providing guys that opportunity. So that was really where it came from. It was out of necessity of, you know, we didn't have the ability to go work out at our facility. So, you know, I wanted to give the guys a place to come work out. Go ahead, Jeff and then Ron Mahdi. Uh, yeah, Landon, uh, all the write-ups on you talk about your leadership ability. And we saw how much it meant to your teammates when you went in for the national championship, the last snap. How would you describe your leadership uh, style? Um, you know, it's really, it's, you can call it leadership or however you want. My ultimate goal is not goal. I, I care for every single guy I play with. I, I love being a part of a team, especially a football team. You know, everybody at this level has a mindset that, you know, not only do they want to be the best athlete player they can be, but we also want to create the best team, a winning team. And so that's, that's the biggest thing is I, I just care for my teammates. I love each and every one of them because we're a select group of guys that come to work every day knowing that we want to get better. So that's the biggest thing for me is, you know, no matter who it was, I, I loved every single guy on that team, and I'm going to love every single guy in Philly. Go ahead, Rob, and then Zach Berman. Hey, Landon, I saw a video of you, Mac Jones, doing an interview, and you're in the background doing some incredible acrobatic side flips. How does a guy – I mean, that looks hard for anyone, let alone someone your size. How did you even realize that you could do something like that and – uh, what does that say about your athleticism? Well, the, those acrobatics are called cartwheels. And, um, you know, for me, I have a gymnastics background. So I did gymnastics for quite a few years. Whenever I was younger, I was, I tumbled a lot. And, you know, it was just something that, you know, I was told that I wasn't allowed to do drills at pro day. So, you know, I was just trying to find a way to mess with Mac. Mac's one of my good friends and we always mess with each other in interviews. So you know, it's kind of just going back and forth with him. Zach and then John McMullen. Hey, Landon, as a follow-up to those cartwheels, what do they say about where you are in your recovery that you're able to do that? So my recovery is right where I want it to be. You know, we don't have an exact time frame. You know, my ultimate goal is to be able to do whatever I can to make the team better, no matter what stage I'm at this summer or whenever we get into the season. You know, I, I want to be able to compete, be at practice by the start of the season, but obviously, you know, Things may change, but right now I'm right on schedule with where I want to be. All right. We'll take two more here with John McMullen and then Dave Zangaro. Hey, Landon, congratulations. You mentioned your versatility in the past. You played all five different positions going back to Florida State, but you finished up at center. When you made that move, did you take a look at players like Jason Kelsey or any other NFL centers to try to you know, get a better feel for the position? Absolutely. So, I mean, a lot of the times, especially during the week leading up to games preseason, you know, we, we watch a lot of film on NFL guys because they're elite athletes. And so for me watching interior or really any offensive lineman, you know, that that's the biggest thing for me is I want to see what these guys are doing when they play and, you know, what makes them great players. Go ahead, Dave. Hey, Landon, with the injuries you've suffered in college, do you anticipate any cumulative effects of those going forward into your NFL career? I do not because I come to work and I want to compete every day. I don't let the past bother me. What's in the past is in the past. You can't change it. You just got to live with it and move on. Thank you. All right. Thank you for taking the time, Landon. Of course. Thank you, guys.